This week, we're in the Sierra Nevadas. We've traveled over 500 miles to get here, and the goal is to rope this Mustang. If we don't catch her in the morning, I don't think anybody's gonna catch her. She's crazy. I'm following this horse. Brett's up here, he's gonna stop her. Let's go, yeah, yeah, yeah. Several months ago, I received a message on my Facebook that caught my attention. It was from a lady we called T. She had started a blog about a lost horse and asked if we'd be interested in helping her catch it. A few weeks later, I rounded up my friends and we started the long drive to the Sierra Nevadas. Oh, it's about five o'clock right now. We are running late. So we're just leaving the gas station. We got a nine hour drive ahead of us, so wish us luck. About two hours down the road, we got a flat tire. After fixing the flat, our next stop was five hours later when we pulled over to look at some wild Mustangs. Some wild Stangs, man. They have a rough life out here. The Mustang we're after had been wild at one point in her life, just like these poor looking suckers, but then rounded up by the BLM and adopted by T. T has several adopted Mustangs and she keeps them by her house. One night, the gate was left open and they all escaped. She managed to catch all of them except one, the one we're after. After arriving in California, T took us out to the horse's last known location. You can see in the distance the horse is over there. We're gonna zoom in right here. There she is. With just her looking at us right here, she's already kind of heading up in the trees. We got Daniel with the drone here. What are you saying about me? He's gonna put the drone in the air. That's We're gonna go right. check out the horse. This is Tyler obviously can't fly a drone. He's like, okay, <laughs> intern's big talk over here. <laughs> intern's big talk. <laughs> All right, we got the drone out there filming. We're gonna take that footage review it tonight, make a game plan, come out here first thing in the morning and rope that staying. Well, good morning guys. Uh, we're out, we're in the truck and uh, we're getting some Starbucks. <laughs> so we tried getting out here pretty early this morning. The temperature is supposed to be above 90 degrees today, so it's gonna be a hot one. It's about seven o'clock, so if we're gonna rope her in the cool morning, we better do it fast. Yep. We're gonna, uh, Expect the best and prepare for the worst. It's tighter than I. Not gonna say what. <laughs> Daniel's not afraid to cover his horn up. Nope. <laughs> the only thing showing is the very tippity top. Now, this is where it all happened. The horse got loose here, and this horse took off for the hills. So it's back up in these mountains back here. We got Hank. We got pal. We got awesome sauce. All right, we're just about up here to this uh, horse. You see this sea of sagebrush out here? That's where we're gonna get her. Hank, this is for good luck, my friend. It's like, screw you, bud. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm sorry, Hank. <laughs> we found the Mustang in the same place as yesterday. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna ride up into these trees. Our plan was to sneak around her on the hillside behind the trees so she couldn't see us. We had to be careful when approaching her because we didn't want her to run up the hillside into the cedars where she could hide from us. If everything went to plan, we would push her out in the sagebrush flat and rope her in the open. Oh, is that her right there? She's looking at us. So we see her down here. We're just gonna come up and around and then come down on her so she'll go out into the flat. No fancy riding, boys. We get him from the jump. Hey, are we level with that horse or do we need to keep going a little further? You gotta go out further. She's on that hill. Okay, sounds good. We're Let's just tightening. Go Perfect. We're just cinching our horses up, so we'll keep going. Sounds good. Gotta be getting close. 
Right from the beginning, our plan started going wrong. The Mustang must have heard us coming, and she ran into the trees. We found her. We split up to find her, and when I found her, Dan wasn't by Brett and I. Daniel! She bolted from the trees and had a huge head start on us. She immediately hit a dirt road and started to leave us in the dust. We tried to cut her off, but the sagebrush slowed us down. All right, we're in the long game now. This thing is traveling out, bro. Traveling. It's hard to put into perspective just how far we traveled in such a little time. So let me show you on a map. She ran along the tree line for about a mile and a half. Then she bolted into the open and ran down a fence line to the road. We followed her tracks along the road and stopped at this intersection to make a new game plan. So far the horse had traveled over 5.8 miles. Luckily, we got her out here in the flat country, so she's not gonna hide from us. Then we followed her tracks another mile and a half down this road. There was a bunch of people here, so she left the road and started running out into the sagebrush. And there's a bunch of people over here fishing. We're thinking she's seen them, and she probably just took off this way, kind of back in the direction we were chasing her. Brett, you wanna hop on Hank and start following? We're gonna send the intern down the tracks. Daniel and I are probably gonna drive up the road and fly the drone. Daniel's putting the drone up in the air. We've got Brett out there tracking it, and now we just gotta find her somewhere through here. So, the question is, where is she? Me and old Hank, we're putting the track on this horse right here. I'm following its tracks, because this horse could be miles ahead of me or it could have stopped. So we're gonna see what's happening. Brett followed the horse's tracks for about a mile. When he lost the tracks, we decided to pick him up and go get the horses a drink of water. We uh, lost sight of the horse, but yeah. Yeah, get our horses a good drink of water in there. Making those fishermen angry over there. I know. They're staring at us. <laughs> we gave our horses a break and looked for the Mustang in the truck. Tyler here's got the binos. Glassing up. If your intern can't poop in the bushes, he's not worth hiring. Brett, give us the thumbs up! <laughs> we searched for hours and had no luck finding the Mustang. This might have been our only chance to rope her, and we blew it. Well, no luck today. We've been searching all day, nothing. She really left the country. She split it, gone. There's only a couple water holes on this side. So there's a good chance she might be coming back to one of those water holes. We're gonna go check there in the morning. In the meantime, we're here in Bishop, California. So we're gonna go check out the mule days a little bit tonight. Awesome. First thing in the morning, we're gonna be here ready to go. Despite feeling super discouraged, we decided to have a little fun before we called it a night. <laughs> you are so dumb. You are really dumb, for real. Shortly after leaving Bishop, I got a call from T. She said the Mustang was back in the same place as yesterday. Let's go get her. Let's go! Let's go! You guys might be thinking to yourself, Tyler, why are you able to just come out to California and rope a wild horse? Heads up. 
Well, I'll tell you why. It's our Mule Country hats. You can find them on bronxandonks.com. If you want a punchy looking hat, you better go get one. They sell quickly. We've got the horses saddled up. We're ready to go get this thing. Now, I'm gonna try to keep this plan as simple as I can, trying to explain it to you here. We'll be chasing the Mustang down the same dirt road as yesterday. Except this time, we're gonna trap her. There's a section of dirt road with a wire fence lining each side of it. Daniel and I will chase the horse into the trap and Brett will be waiting at the other end to stop the horse. So we just split up. Brett's heading out to his place and we're gonna get up in position to get in on this horse. She kind of ran off in the trees. We don't see her right now. So hopefully she's still up there somewhere. Okay, How high up is she? How high up is she? You see us, Bert? I do not. Bertram, we're out in the open. All right. Anyway, you just keep you just keep eyes on that horse. We're gonna we're not sure if we're high enough yet, but we'll go a little higher. Can you see her? Which direction are you looking? Straight between like in the dead trees. Let's get her against the fence line. Here she is. this horse. Brett's up here. He's going to stop her. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Tyler and them are coming down that road. If you could see that dust down there, I got to get ready. All right, we got her trapped in this alleyway. So now we just gotta hope she doesn't jump out. Uh oh. She's looking like she might jump out. Whoa, pony. Whoa. Ask Daniel if he can get on this side of the fence. Hey, hey, Call Daniel, say we're going to the corral. Where is she?
Come on. Come on. Do it now. Come on. She's dying too, hey. Just got last her. She turned, she's turned. I see her, I have her in my eyesight. I'm gonna put her in my binos and not leave her. So she flipped a 180. Yeah, she's heading homebound on the highway. She's dropping me in the dust harder than anything. Yep, yep. See that dust cloud? See that dust cloud? Yeah, I seen her. Okay, here you go. Here you go. Your bino case is right there. Okay. I'm heading out. I'm gonna trot towards the highway. I don't know how much more I can give you than that. Wow, this horse has got away from us again. I've been up on this point right here glassing and I followed the horse pretty far, but it's to the point it's so far out there, all the heat waves, you can barely see anything. But we're hot in pursuit. We're not giving up today. We're not giving up easy. Come on, Hank. Okay, I'm getting Brett right now. Come on. I was so freaking close. Right as about Hank gave out, we gained, we gained like half a mile on her. We got a hole in our tire. It's leaking. It's all right. Okay. Go, 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 go. Did you guys see a horse? Did you, did you see a horse come by? Where'd it go? That okay. one? How far away? Thank you. Well, me and Brett are on her track still. Uh, it's getting really hard to see them. She's stepping pretty light, which means she slowed down, but it also means it's hard to track. Jeez. How are your guys' horses doing? They're good. We've been going slow, so they've got their breath. Good. I'll get up in front of you guys and start glassing. Okay. Yeah, good luck, man. This is mule country, boys. So I'm just tracking this horse still. She is all over the place. Well, looky here, folks. Found ourselves a shed. A very old shed. This Mustang has moved out. We looked for the horse and followed her tracks all day with no luck. And sadly, that was our last day in Bishop. We took that loss personally, and it was hard to leave empty handed. We're gonna head home. Sadly, we couldn't get her this time, but hey, you never know, we might be back out here later. But it's not over. We're heading back to Bishop this winter to finish the job we started. So make sure you smash that subscribe button because you're not going to want to miss part two of roping this lost Mustang. We're coming back with more horsepower and a much better plan. And with that being said, we'll catch you next week on another episode of Bronx and Donks.